Let's go. Come on. I should watch my back when I'm here.
Ella. Spartans can build as many boats as they like, but Poseidon will never favor them as he does the Athenians. Lamb, you made it. I trust the seas were favorable? Poseidon might be the only one not trying to kill me. And did you go to Thera? Did you find him? I did. What did he tell you? He told me where I'm from. And where I must go. So now you know the truth. I'm not his daughter, I'm just a weapon. That is the furthest thing from the truth. You were brought into this world with love. I never imagined we'd stand on Spartan soil together again. As much as I cursed this place for what it did to us, it feels more like home than Kefalonia ever did. Sparta is our home. But we'll have to rid ourselves of the Puppet King if we are ever to find peace. Whatever happened to our old house? Nikolaos stayed after I left, but now that he's gone, I don't know. Why don't we go find out? Of course. But first, there's something I want to show you. <laughs>
closer we get to Sparta, the more memories keep flooding in. No matter how far I ran, I never could escape them. I know. I know as as I could help you. It was as if I had locked Sparta in a box and tossed it to the bottom of the sea. Did you put your memories of us in that box? But we have taken all the room in the land of the beginning. This is where I first trained you to use your spear. Hesitation only hastens the grave. <laughs> you remembered. How do you think I got this far? We had to pry that spear from your hand while you slept. You said you needed it to fight the monsters in your dreams. I couldn't face Cerberus empty-handed. Those children will be ripped to shreds. We should help them. Cassandra, wait! You mustn't interfere. This is Spartan training territory. I hope you're right. For their sake. The Agogi is what turns boys into men. Interfering would only weaken them, weaken Sparta. 
They're no good to Sparta if we leave them to die. And they're no good to Sparta if they're too weak to kill a wolf. Come. Let's go home. That training is ruthless. Not ruthless. Effective. The best of those boys will become Cryptia, keepers of the peace and stalkers in the night. Stalkers in the night? There's a reason Sparta never changes. It has rules, and they are strict. Spartans rule Laconia, but most of its citizens are Ilotas, enslaved peasants made to work the fields and mines. Slaves? Why don't they revolt? Spartan fields keep them fed, and Spartan warriors keep them safe. First from the Persians, and now from the Athenians. When they forget their place, they creep. I see. Most of us make great sacrifices for comfort. Most. Not all. Let's go. I never thought I'd find myself back in Sparta. It looks so peaceful, despite the war raging elsewhere. <gasps> Let's go. First and last place I ever felt safe. As soon as you were old enough to hold a spear, you trained in this yard from morning till night. Nikolaos was a tough teacher to please. He hid his pride from you. But every night he would tell me, she's going to bring glory to Sparta. <sighs> as much as I hate him for what he did, I wouldn't be who I am today without his training. My heart broke that day, but for the first time in ages, standing here with you, I truly believe it can mend again. Me too. Do you remember the first time you held your brother? I was scared I'd break him. I piled every blanket and pillow we had around me. Even then, you held him so tight, I thought you would squeeze the life out of him. He turned out stronger than we thought. The gods must be playing tricks on my eyes. Good to see you, Vrasidas. It's been a long time since I rescued you from the warehouse fire in Corinth. <laughs> That's not how I remember it. You look well, Vrasidas. The rumors were true. You're alive! Many we thought to be dead are still breathing. When I heard the two of you came home... We're in Sparta, but we're not home yet. We want our house back, Vrasidas. Sparta claimed your estate after Nikolaos' disappearance. They're waiting for his adopted son to claim it, but he hasn't returned from the war. Stentor? I knew I should have killed him on the beach. What do we have to do to get it back? You'll need to negotiate your Spartan citizenship with the kings. It won't be easy. Why not? As happy as I am to see you, the kings won't be. 
especially Achidamus. Your exit from Sparta wasn't exactly... graceful. He can't still be mad I broke his nose. You what? In any case, he hasn't forgotten. But I have an idea that might help him forgive. Tell us. Spartan soldiers have been giving weapons to the Ilotes. Whoever takes care of these traitors will earn his thanks. So, to get our house back, I must take out the Spartan commander responsible for inciting a useless rebellion. Sounds easy enough. Find me in the throne room when it's done. And where will you be? This is where I raised you. It's also where Leonidas raised me. I'm going to visit his tomb just beyond the estate. You should pay your respects too before you get started. I'll try. Let me know what you need. If I can help you again, let me know. How may I help you? Thank you. 
Come back anytime. There you are. I can take you in to see the kings when you're ready. Waiting won't make this easier. They won't look kindly on you asking for favors without offering some kind of help first. Like taking care of the soldiers arming the Ilotes. I'm tired of doing people favors. Let's get this over with. Come on then. Your mother's waiting inside. Another two squadrons to Vietir, then, as I said. Is that how they solve arguments? Sometimes. Archidamos's guard has improved. He should thank me. Prasidas, you've come with news. Let's hear it. My kings, may I present Merini, descendant of Leonidas, and her daughter Cassandra. I heard you'd come back. How dare you step foot on Spartan soil? I should cut it off for what you did. They helped us secure Curanthea, my king. I beg you to listen. They are descendants of Leonidas. For that reason alone, they should be allowed to speak. And if we don't like what they have to say, you can chop off any limb you see fit. Speak, Marini. Why are you here? I have returned to reclaim my Spartan citizenship. ...to reclaim our home. You exiled yourself. Your daughter killed an elder and ran. Not to mention the crooked nose she gave you. My family was betrayed, my king. Sparta was betrayed. We've come to expose these traitors. <laughs> you haven't cared for Sparta for many years. Then blame me. I killed the elder. I started all of this. So if you want someone to prove their loyalty, it should be me. I'm not sure if I should congratulate you on your honesty, or punish you for the crime you've just confessed. Marini has made her intentions known. What are yours? My intentions are to hunt down those who betrayed my family and Sparta, and kill them. And who, exactly, do you think betrayed Sparta? That's what I'm here to find out. First, prove yourself loyal. Bring glory to Sparta, and redeem yourself in the eyes of the gods. Until then, neither you nor your mother have a right to your lands. Tell me what I must do, and it will be done. The Spartan army fights the Athenians in Viotia. Join the commanders there. Come back victorious, or do not. Return. Consider the battle won. Spoken with the confidence of a child who hasn't seen real war. You will find my commander out of Mount Helicon. Give him this and tell him I sent you. Not so fast. Two kings, two tasks. Heracles completed twelve. Two shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> First Spartan thing you've said all day. The Olympics will be starting soon in Elise, and our fighting champion requires an escort. You want me to be an escort? 
I want you to make sure the Spartans return with Aerith. <coughs> That's how she'll bring glory to Sparta? By winning an event in the Olympics? Not an event, my king. By making sure Sparta wins the entire Olympics. Perfect. One last thing. When you come asking a favor, it is customary to bring a gift. But you didn't. So now I will choose your gift for you. A wolf has been attacking farmers on the Discuri Peninsula. People say it's King Lacaon himself, cursed by Zeus to live out his days as a wolf. I will kill this animal and bring you its head. You have your orders. We'll see you when your tasks are completed. If they're completed. I'll get them done. And you'll give us back our home. There's some Spartan left in you after all. Brasidas, show them out. Next! That went well. Considering you still have your head on your shoulders, yes, I'd say it went very well. The kings were generous to give us a second chance. And all I have to do is win the Olympics. And a war. Is there anything you need to know before setting off? I think I'm ready. And you? What will you do while I'm gone? I received a message just before we went in. What kind of message? A clue to the whereabouts of another cultist. I'm going to Arcadia. Alone? The fates are smiling on us. I was ordered there. We can travel together. That would be helpful. My thanks. I'll meet you both in Arcadia then. Safe journeys. Grandfather was a true hero. Maybe. You're not one of my soldiers. You better have a good reason for being here. We Spartans stand together. So here I am. Yes. Spartan blood matters most. Looks like this victory will bring you glory. The rewards of skill and effort. It's the Spartan way. From slave to general. Bathing in the blood of this war while our leaders stuff their faces and preen. The Polemarchos believe it's an easy victory. I will end this war in my favor. You have a strategy? Athenian Polemarchos are paralyzed with indecision. They serve too many masters. Making them slow to react. And that's where you come in. Infiltrate their forts and kill the Polemarchos. 
I need a way clear for my troops. I'll do my part. Consider the commanders already dead. Bring me their Athenian seals as proof? You'll be rewarded for your efforts. Careful not to get spotted. A power I wield indeed. I told you last time I thought I could summon you when needed. And it has happened yet again. And for what this time? My friend here needs to be taken to the sanctuary of LFCs, near the border of Mecharis. He'll finish the trek across the border on his own. If you have the power to make me come when you want, stop using it. Oh, I'll... Uh... That's too easy. Anyways, the power doesn't work every time, sadly. You weren't in my bed last night, no matter how many times I thought of you. Let's get to it. I'm just supposed to take your friend across the border. Yes. Nothing else? Carefully, if you can. Avoid roads, people. Be invisible. My friend must be kept safe. I'll make sure he's safe. I'd hoped you'd say that. We should be on our way. He needs to get to the Sanctuary of LFCs. It isn't far, although it may take you longer than usual. It won't be a problem. I'm glad we aren't going by sea. Alcibiades told me about you. Best stay out of sight. He said you're blessed by the gods. <laughs> Let's go. It's nice of you to help someone you don't know at all. We should stay 
stay on the safest route possible. Off we go now. better. I was starting to get sweaty under that hood. You're a woman. Nice of you to notice. Alcibiades said... Exactly what I told him to. It was safer that way. I owe Alcibiades a lot for his help and for trusting you with my life as well. I'm glad I could help. Please give Alcibiades my thanks. I only wish I had more to offer him. And you, for the help. I'll never forget either of you. <laughs> 